What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nick and today we're going to do, be doing a few science experiments to study a lot of stuff. So the first one is called rain. So what you're going to need is a glass jar, some pretty hot water, um, obviously your safety glasses, some ice, and we're going to have a, a plate, a paper plate. So the first thing you need to do is pour the super hot water into well into the jar you, so you should have about five centimeters i don't know if you can see on camera but it's smoking then we need to add the plate right there perfect then you need to add some ice on the top perfect and now you're gonna have Oh, sorry. First, we need to put our safety glasses on. So now, what we're going to do is wait about three minutes. Quick fun fact while we wait. Large raindrops can fall as fast as 32 kilometers per it's hour. In about two or three minutes. And if you guys notice in the jar, you can see some raindrops starting to fall down. Or maybe on the glass, you can see it's getting pretty moist inside. That's called condensation. You can see the, the water droplets inside just becoming heavy and falling down. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see directly into the water. Now actually rain is starting to come down. That's pretty cool. And maybe if we take the plate off, we might see water droplets on the lid or on the plate. That's exactly what condensation it experiment is. is called Colors of the Rainbow. So on this experiment, we can do this experiment to create a rainbow inside your own home. You need a sunny day though. You'll need a glass of water, a sheet of white paper, and a flat surface in the sun. So number one, um, I can do this experiment when, right now because there's not a lot of sunlight, but I'm gonna give you guys the instructions right now in order to do it. So number one, Place the sheet of paper in the sunlight. Number two, hold the glass of water over the paper. Move it carefully in the sunlight until you see rainbow colors appear appear on the paper. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a pretty cool picture of this experiment. Not in action, but it's actually related. So just to give you guys a sense of how it's gonna look like. guys now it's time for experiment number three this one is called foggy day we can do this experiment to see how fog forms you will need a glass jar again a small strainer hot water from the hot tap and ice cubes so step one run the hot tap until the water is nice and hot then carefully fill the jar let it stand for a minute or two. So we need to put very little water into the jar. I think I did a little too much, but we'll see later. Now, step two, pour out most of the water, leaving about two centimeters at the bottom. I'll be right back. The jar ready and ready to roll. Place the strainer over the jar. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's going to fall. I'm just going to hold it real quick. Then put some ice cubes in it. There we go. Then watch as a spooky fog forms in the jar. I'll tell you guys when the fog comes. But just a fun fact for now. The world's foggiest place is an area in the Atlantic Ocean called the Grand Banks off the coast of Newfoundland. It has over 200 days of fog every year. It's only been like 30 seconds, and look inside, the fog is already forming, which makes it pretty cool. I'm gonna come back when there's a lot. Whoa, just kidding. Look at how much fog is, look at how much fog is coming up. And look at the water droplets of, of the ice smoking just going down. I'm gonna see in a little while if there's a lot more fog coming. Guys, look at that, it's gotten so foggy since we first started. That is actually really cool. 
So that was experiment number three. <laughs> Sorry, guys. See you on experiment number four. Welcome to experiment number four. I'm going to tell you guys how to do this one because I don't have everything right now to do it. But if I had everything I promised, I would do it. So it's called thunderstorm drama. You will basically see thunder clouds inside of a container. So what you need is a clear plastic container. Big ice cream tub size, so a big container. And maybe one we'll want to make it clear, of course. Red food coloring and ice cubes made with blue food coloring. Or you can just add the blue food, blue food coloring to the ice. So three steps. Number one. Fill the container two-thirds full of lukewarm water and let it sit for about one minute. Place a few blue ice cubes at one end of the plastic container. Add three or four drops of red food coloring to the water at the other end of the container. Watch as the cold blue water slowly sinks and the warm red water rises to the surface. Fun fact. The most thundery place on Earth is the island of Java. It has around 220 days of thunderstorms every year. So the next experiment is probably the easiest one to do. You only need a paper bag. So what you're gonna do is fold the paper bag. Um, I don't have the, the, the paper bag either. I'm so sorry, guys. But you can do it too. Blow into the paper bag to fill it up with air. Twist the open end and close tightly with your hand and then quickly hit the bag with your free hand boom and that makes it sound like lightning and that's actually how lightning sound works guys so that is part one of the video don't worry i'm gonna make a part two it's just that these experiments take kind of long to prepare for okay hope you guys do the experiments and tell me your reactions in the comments peace